You're right guys, it's time for the third part of the shed build now and that's the cladding. Nice and simple step, I hope you like it. Getting the first row of cladding level will make the rest go on a lot easier, so I spend some time clamping it in place before attaching it with nails. With the first board in place the rest can clip into place easily. You need to make sure the tongue and groove joint is fully seated before securing the boards in place. You'll notice I left the boards oversized, it's much easier to cut them off flush by hand later. The top row of cladding needed to have some notches cut out of it to fit around the rafters, so I marked round them and allowed enough room to lift the boards into place. The jigsaw makes quick work of cutting out the notches. You'll notice an extra piece of 2x2 up top, I decided to add that to give the roof some extra overhang up front, it will make more sense when I come to felt the roof later. With the small pieces splitting, I turn my attention to the sides. Drilling pilot holes and nailing the small pieces on by hand help prevent splitting. and that's the cladding done. So that's it for part three then guys, that's the cladding done. Next up I'm gonna be working on the doors to the shed, there's gonna be three doors, and then after that it's the roof. So not long to go now, I hope you've been following along. If you haven't saw the first video I was in this series, there's a link down below to a playlist, so you can follow along with the build. And of course when I do get the doors done, and the roof, they'll be added to the playlist as well. As you can hear now, the wind's picking up, it's gonna tip down so I better get inside. I'll leave some links on the screen that you might be interested in, and don't forget to click subscribe and get notifications, so I better get inside quick now. Thank you all for watching.